Okay, welcome back to another episode of uh, Man Cave Meals and Backyard Barbecue Basics. Today, we are going to cook a Boston butt on the Weber Smoky Mountain. And what we see here is the base of the Weber Smoky Mountain. We've got our charcoal basket and our charcoal ring. What we're going to do is load that ring up with charcoal. So we'll dump it in. Fill the ring up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take uh, a few of these bricks, probably 10 to 15 bricks, put them in our charcoal starter chimney. And we're going to light those up and let them get ashed over and then we'll dump them right back in on top. But we're also going to go ahead and put some some smoking chunks in here. Kind of spread them out a little bit. Like such. And we will light up our charcoal and then we'll be back in a few minutes to uh, show you where we go from there. Okay, we have our charcoal heated up. It's in the charcoal chimney. It's, it's mostly started up. So what we're going to do now is just dump our lit charcoal right on top. Just like that. We had about, I don't know, 10 bricks or so that we started up. So the next thing we're going to do is put the rest of the smoker together. Now on this smoker there's one note here when you set this up you want to set it up to where you're not going to have to move it because this uh, smoker is not one that you can very easily move while it's going. It can be problematic. So we're going to take our center chamber Set it right on top. Then the next thing we'll do is take our water pan, set it in, and then we're going to fill the water pan up. You want to be careful not to try not to spill too much water down in the charcoal area obviously. This pan holds a good bit of water, so we're going to fill it up to pretty close to the top. And we can refill this during the cook if we need to. Then we'll set our lower charcoal, or our lower cooking rack in, which we're not going to use today. But we're just going to set it in there. And then we will set our top rack on. I'm actually going to turn this around a little bit here because I'm going to run a temperature probe through here shortly. Then we'll set our lid on. Now, the thermometer on this cooker is fairly accurate, so we're going to be able to use that. 
our top vent we're going to keep wide open the whole time and the Weber Smoky Mountain has three lower vents and I'm starting out with those about halfway open until we get up to 200 degrees or so and then I will start to back that down so while that's warming up we're gonna go do a few other things and uh, we'll be back when it gets up closer to temperature and I'll start backing those vents down and show you with the water pan in place this uh, cooker it sits in at 225 to 250 very nicely with no help at all so we'll be back okay we're back our smoker is about up to 200 degrees or so and it's taken 40 minutes or so for it to get there uh, when you put that much water in one of these uh, smokers it does take it a little while to warm up so don't don't fret if it uh, seems kind of slow coming up it will get there so now we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off and put our meat on I have a big old eight and a half pound Boston butt here and I've rubbed this and treated it the exact same way uh, we treated the ribs uh, I rubbed the butt down with mustard and then sprinkled my pork rub all over it and the recipe for that pork rub is in my ribs video but I'll try to include it here as well now one of the things that this particular smoker is lacking in my opinion is a uh, method of running a digital probe in you can run it in under the lid but it works better if you get one of these things called a sensor grommet uh, you can buy these from uh, Rocks Barbecue Online, uh, Barbecue Guru, and I'll show you that in just a minute. It gives us a little hole where we can run our probe right in, and we're going to put our probe right down in the middle of the meat, not too close to the bone, just like that. And the, uh, the probe, the grommet hole that we have gives us a better way to run that probe in there. So I'm going to put the lid back on. And then I'll show you the, uh, I'm also going to start my timer so we know how long we've been cooking. I'm expecting this to go somewhere between 11 and 13 hours, so we'll have a look at it from there. And we did lose a good bit of heat when we, uh, when we took the lid off, but it'll warm right back up. That sensor grommet on this particular cooker, this is a direct replacement for one of the screws that uh, holds a uh, cooking rack in place. You can get a pair of these for $10 or so, and I, I think it's highly worth it. So now, our pit's coming back up to temp slowly. It'll come up, it won't take as long to come right back to temperature, but like I said, with that much water in there, it uh, it takes it a little while. So. We're going to keep our eye on it, and we're also going to leave the lid on here for this entire cook. We are going to monitor our meat with that temperature probe that we put in there. We're not going to uh, take the lid off of this guy at all to help it hold its heat in. Uh, when our temperature gets up to about 220 or so, we'll start playing with the vents, and I'll come back and show you that. <laughs> 